Hi friends, Amy Seifert here, speaker and author of Grace Looks Amazing on You. And today's verse is Isaiah 55, six and seven that says, seek the Lord while he may be found. Call upon him while he is near. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts. Let him return to the Lord that he may have compassion on him and to our God who will abundantly pardon. Can you think of a time when you screwed up big time? I'm remembering way back in middle school when I had to call my parents and tell them I cheated on an English paper. And they came into the principal's office and they were disappointed, but they were compassionate. This verse is about God's compassion on us. This is from the book of Isaiah, where the first 40 chapters are about judgment because of Israel's idolatry and rebellion and oppression of others. But the last third of the book turns the page from judgment to hope when God says he's going to keep his covenant promises. And he outlines two ty types of people here. He says there's the humble and there's the wicked. And God calls out to the wicked. He says to those who are oppressing others, come to me. Come if you are thirsty. Come if you have no money. If you humble yourselves, there is room for you at my table, which feels really outrageous. What kind of God calls those who are oppressing others to his banquet table? A God of compassion. Friends, it was compassion that clothed Adam and Eve in the garden before he sent them out. It was compassion that, that removed our sins as far as the East is from the West in Psalm 103. It was compassion that carried Christ to the cross. So today, two things. One, consider how God's compassion culture differs from the world's culture. Compassion has always woven its way through the tapestry of our faith. And two, ask God to bring to mind what you need to turn from, to repent, to humble yourself and return back to God about. Is it, is it self-sufficiency? Is it envy? Is it racism? Is it, is it greed? Is it pride? What is there? And remember, as you're asking him, God is compassionate to the humble.